November 2024 brings a powerful mix of astrological energies that signal a month of introspection, emotional upheavals, and transformation for all zodiac signs. The planetary movements during this month urge us to pause, reassess, and navigate challenges with caution. With major planets like Saturn, Jupiter, and Mercury in retrograde, coupled with the debilitation of both Mars and the Sun, the cosmic atmosphere suggests a need for patience and resilience. These planetary alignments will significantly impact personal relationships, career advancements, financial planning, and emotional health. It's essential to note that these insights are grounded in Vedic astrology, which accounts for the approximately 24-degree difference with the tropical zodiac. The emphasis on Scorpio during November is particularly strong, as several planets will either transit or aspect this intense and transformative sign. Scorpio's influence heightens emotional sensitivity, making it a month of deep internal shifts. The theme of transformation is further amplified by the presence of Rahu in Pisces and Ketu in Virgo, which highlights the importance of balancing our spiritual aspirations with practical concerns. Throughout November 2024, Mars, the planet of action and drive, will continue its transit in Cancer, its debilitation sign. Mars in Cancer weakens our ability to assert ourselves confidently, as the fiery nature of Mars struggles in this emotionally driven water sign. This debilitation can manifest in emotional volatility, frustration, and difficulty in taking decisive action. People may feel less motivated and more prone to reacting emotionally to situations, rather than approaching them logically. Mars in Cancer often brings challenges related to domestic life, personal security, and emotional well-being. The energy of Mars is diffused in Cancer, making it a difficult time for initiating bold projects or pushing forward with confidence. Instead, this transit encourages introspection and a focus on emotional healing. It is a time to deal with unresolved issues related to family and home, and to cultivate inner strength in the face of external challenges. Expect potential conflicts and relationships and a general feeling of emotional imbalance. Saturn, the taskmaster of the zodiac, has been retrograding through Aquarius, and will continue to do so until November 15th, when it turns direct. Saturn retrograde slows down our progress and forces us to rethink our approach to long-term goals, career ambitions, and social responsibilities. Aquarius, the sign of innovation and humanitarian causes, reflects our broader hopes and dreams for the future. Saturn's retrograde here suggests that we may feel stuck or delayed in achieving our larger aspirations. During this retrograde phase, many may face challenges in their career or social circles. Group projects, collaborations, and efforts to bring about long-term changes may face setbacks. However, this retrograde also provides the opportunity to reassess strategies, refine plans, and build a stronger foundation for the future. Once Saturn turns direct on November 15th, the energy will gradually shift towards rebuilding and moving forward, though slowly and steadily. Jupiter, the planet of expansion, knowledge, and wisdom, will continue its retrograde in Taurus throughout November 2024. Taurus, a sign associated with stability, material wealth, and personal values, directs Jupiter's expansive energy towards financial growth and security. However, with Jupiter in retrograde, there is a need to reconsider how we handle our resources, financial investments, and personal values. This retrograde calls for caution in financial matters. It's a time to review long-term financial plans, reassess spending habits, and avoid impulsive investments. Taurus encourages us to seek stability, but Jupiter's retrograde reminds us that true growth comes from re-evaluating what we truly value and how we can align our material pursuits with our spiritual or ethical principles. This is a time for thoughtful reflection rather than bold financial moves, as the retrograde urges us to plan wisely for the future. Adding to the complexity of the month, Mercury will enter Scorpio on October 29th and begin its retrograde motion on November 26th. Mercury in Scorpio enhances deep thinking, investigative insights, and transformative communication. However, with the retrograde occurring towards the end of the month, communication breakdowns, misunderstandings, and delays are likely to surface. Mercury retrograde in Scorpio is notorious for stirring up hidden emotions and unresolved issues, especially in close relationships. This retrograde phase could lead to revisiting old patterns of thought and communication, allowing us to gain new perspectives. However, it's essential to avoid making hasty decisions or drawing conclusions, as Mercury's retrograde can obscure the truth or complicate communication. It is also advisable to hold off on signing contracts or making important commitments during this period. The Sun, which represents our core identity and vitality, begins the month in Libra, its sign of debilitation. When the Sun is debilitated in Libra, our sense of self-confidence and clarity may feel diminished. People may struggle with decision-making and feel less inclined to assert their individuality. However, the Sun's transit into Scorpio on November 16th brings a shift in energy. Scorpio's intense, 
transformative energy helps us regain our sense of purpose and clarity. This transition encourages us to delve deeper into our emotions and confront our fears, emerging stronger and more self-aware. November 2024 is a month that challenges us to face our inner emotions, rethink our long-term goals, and approach life with patience. The debilitated Sun and Mars, and the retrogrades of Saturn, Jupiter, and Mercury suggest a need to slow down, reassess, and focus on emotional healing and reflection. Relationships may experience tension as hidden issues come to the surface. It's essential to approach these challenges with mindfulness, as the intense Scorpio energy encourages transformation through self-awareness. This is not a month for pushing forward aggressively or making rash decisions. Instead, it's a time for introspection, inner growth, and laying the groundwork for future endeavors. By the end of November, as Saturn turns direct and the Sun moves into Scorpio, there will be opportunities to move forward, albeit slowly, with greater clarity and a stronger sense of purpose. The key to navigating November 2024 is patience, emotional resilience, and a willingness to embrace the changes that come with transformation. To accurately assess the impact of these transits, it's crucial to consider your ascendant and moon signs. The ascendant sign provides insights into the timing of life events, while the moon sign reveals how you'll emotionally respond to these changes. Additionally, consider the position of your current Mahadasha Lord in your birth chart, as it can shed light on how these transits will influence the recurring themes of your current Dasha period. These specific outcomes will depend on individual Dasha periods and how these transits interact with your natal planetary placements. If you are currently in Jupiter's Mahadasha period, its transit influence will be particularly prominent. Remember, the effects of these transits vary for each person. Let's explore how they may affect you based on your zodiac sign and the houses they transit. For Aries, November 2024 presents a period of emotional, financial, and career-related challenges, driven by key planetary movements and retrogrades. This month demands a careful approach, with a focus on introspection, patience, and adaptability. The influence of Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mercury, in particular, will shape much of what Aries experiences, offering both opportunities for growth and potential obstacles. Mars, the ruling planet of Aries, is debilitated in Cancer throughout November making this a challenging month on the personal and emotional front. Cancer governs the fourth house for Aries, which symbolizes home, family, and emotional security. The weakening of Mars in this position can bring emotional instability, especially in family matters. Aries individuals may feel overwhelmed by domestic responsibilities, leading to frustrations that could spill into their personal relationships. This is a time when unresolved issues within the family are likely to resurface, prompting necessary but difficult conversations. Aries individuals may find it harder to assert themselves, feeling emotionally vulnerable and less motivated. With Mars debilitated, it's important to avoid confrontations at home and instead focus on nurturing emotional harmony. Misunderstandings are likely to occur, so patience and clear communication are key to maintaining peace. On the career front, November may feel like a sluggish period. The debilitated Mars in Cancer could sap the drive and energy typically associated with Aries. Balancing work and home responsibilities may prove difficult as emotions take precedence over career ambitions. Progress at work might slow down, particularly if domestic issues are weighing heavily on your mind. Saturn continues to retrograde in 11th house of long-term goals, friendships, and social connections for Aries. This retrograde will continue until mid-November, potentially causing delays in achieving career milestones or gaining recognition for your efforts. Group projects or collaborations may also face setbacks, and you may feel disconnected from your professional network. However, as Saturn turns direct on November 15th, the pace of progress is likely to pick up, gradually restoring your confidence and clarity in your long-term ambitions. Jupiter's retrograde in Taurus, your second house of wealth suggests that November is not an ideal time to take financial risks or make major investments. Instead, it is a period for reassessing your financial goals and adopting a conservative approach to spending. Impulsive financial decisions may backfire, especially towards the end of the month when Mercury retrogrades in Scorpio affecting your eighth house of shared resources and financial agreements. Delays or miscommunications in financial transactions are likely, so it's crucial to double-check the details of any contracts or agreements before proceeding. Aries individuals should focus on building financial stability rather than seeking quick gains. The retrograde influence of Jupiter urges you to look closely at your savings, long-term investments, and financial planning. Home and family-related expenses may unexpectedly rise, further stressing your budget. 
Keeping a close eye on unnecessary expenditures and preparing for financial contingencies will help you weather this period. In love and relationships, Aries may experience a turbulent month, particularly those in committed partnerships or marriages. With Mars debilitated in Cancer and Sun in Libra, your ability to assert yourself in relationships may feel compromised, leading to misunderstandings or emotional outbursts. Domestic responsibilities may become a source of tension, causing strain in your romantic life. It's important to navigate these emotional challenges with compassion and patience, as minor issues could escalate into larger conflicts if not addressed carefully. For singles, November might feel like a stagnant period when it comes to forming new romantic connections. Emotional exhaustion and a lack of motivation to pursue new relationships may hinder your love life. However, this could also be a valuable time to focus on self-care and emotional healing, preparing you for future romantic opportunities once the planetary energies shift. Venus enters Sagittarius on November 7th, moving into your ninth house of higher learning, travel, and spiritual pursuits. This transit offers some relief, encouraging a broader perspective in love and relationships. For those in partnerships, it may be a good time to reconnect with your partner through shared interests, intellectual conversations, or even travel. Venus in Sagittarius brings a sense of adventure and optimism to relationships, helping you rise above emotional challenges. Family matters may feel particularly intense for Aries during November. Mars debilitated in the fourth house suggests that unresolved family issues could come to the forefront, leading to emotionally charged situations. Tensions with parents or elders are possible, and financial stress related to shared family resources may add to the strain. Jupiter retrograding in your second house emphasizes the need for open and honest conversations about financial responsibilities within the family to avoid misunderstandings. Social life, too, may take a backseat this month, as Saturn's retrograde in Aquarius affects your 11th house of friendships and group activities. You may feel distant from your social circle or experience delays in plans with friends. However, this period offers an opportunity to reassess your social connections, focusing on deepening meaningful relationships rather than expanding your network. After Saturn turns direct on November 15th, you may feel a gradual reconnection with friends and a renewed sense of community. Health is another area that requires attention for Aries in November. With Mars debilitated in Cancer, emotional stress can take a toll on your physical health. You may be more prone to digestive issues, chest-related problems, or overall fatigue. The emotional strain from balancing work, home, and personal relationships could lead to mental exhaustion, making it important to prioritize stress management. Exercise, yoga, meditation, and relaxation techniques could be beneficial for maintaining emotional balance during this time. Be mindful of your diet and avoid pushing yourself too hard physically, as overexertion could lead to health complications. However, after mid-month, you may experience an improvement in both emotional and physical health. Overall, November 2024 is a month of emotional challenges, careful financial planning, and introspection for Aries. Mars' debilitated position, combined with the retrograde influences of Saturn, Jupiter, and Mercury, slows progress in various aspects of life. However, by approaching these challenges with patience and focusing on stability, Aries individuals can use this time to reflect on their long-term goals and prepare for future growth. The second half of the month brings the potential for positive changes, particularly in social and professional connections, as long as you remain cautious and adaptable. For Taurus individuals, November 2024 is marked by introspection, transformation, and steady yet cautious growth. With key planetary influences shaping your relationships, career, and finances, you will find yourself navigating through deep emotional and practical shifts. The retrograde movements of Jupiter and Saturn add an element of reflection, prompting you to reassess your goals and make adjustments before charging forward. Your relationships takes focus this month, with Venus, your ruling planet, transiting through Scorpio and then moving into Sagittarius. This planetary movement highlights both the depth of emotional connections and the potential for transformation in your partnerships. You may experience heightened passion and intensity in your personal life. Whether you are single or in a committed relationship, the focus will be on uncovering hidden emotions and dealing with unresolved issues. For those in long-term relationships, this is a time to address emotional baggage that may have been lingering under the surface. Scorpio's influence can make things feel more intense, but it also provides the opportunity for healing and deeper understanding. You may find that some aspects of your relationship need reevaluation, and while this process may be uncomfortable, it can lead to greater closeness and emotional growth. When Venus moves into Sagittarius on November 7th, the tone of your relationships may lighten, offering a broader perspective and a sense of renewal. Sagittarius, your eighth house of transformation and shared resources, brings a philosophical lens to your connections, allowing you to reflect on the bigger picture. 
This transit also impacts financial matters within partnerships, such as shared assets, loans, or debts. Unexpected expenses or discussions around joint finances may arise, so be prepared for financial conversations with your partner. For single Taurus individuals, the month brings the potential for intense romantic connections. However, with the influence of Mercury retrograding in Scorpio at the end of November, these new relationships may not be stable. Emotions could cloud your judgment, and it's advisable to proceed with caution rather than rushing into anything too quickly. Career progress may feel slow during the first half of November, with Saturn retrograding in Aquarius, your 10th house of career and public reputation. Saturn's retrograde period can create delays in achieving your professional goals, leading to feelings of frustration. You might encounter obstacles related to promotions, recognition, or general career growth, making it essential to exercise patience during this time. However, the challenges in your career are not without purpose. Saturn's retrograde encourages a thorough reassessment of your long-term professional ambitions. Are you on the right path? Have you been working toward goals that align with your core values? These are the questions you'll need to reflect on as Saturn retrogrades. By mid-November, when Saturn turns direct, you will begin to see progress again, especially if you have taken the time to address long-standing issues in your career. This is the perfect moment to focus on refining your skills, revisiting past projects, and preparing for the future with strategic long-term planning. Jupiter, retrograding in your own sign, also highlights a period of introspection. Jupiter's influence on your first house of self may slow down your personal ambition, making you question the direction of your career. This is not a time to push for immediate results, but rather an opportunity to reassess your goals and realign them with your values. Use this month to plan for the future, knowing that the groundwork you lay now will pay off in the months ahead. Financially, Taurus individuals should adopt a conservative approach in November. Jupiter's retrograde in your sign signals potential delays in financial growth and the need to revisit financial decisions. This is not the best time for major investments or starting new business ventures. Instead, focus on revising your financial plans, paying attention to any areas where you may have overextended yourself. Sticking to a careful, conservative spending pattern will help you navigate this period of uncertainty. The transit of Venus from Scorpio to Sagittarius on November 7th impacts your shared resources and financial partnerships. You may face unexpected expenses related to joint assets, taxes, or loans. Be sure to review these areas carefully and avoid taking financial risks during this time. Communication around money, particularly with business partners or family members, may be strained due to Mars' debilitated position in Cancer, your third house of communication. Emotional stress may complicate discussions around finances, so it's crucial to remain calm and avoid making impulsive decisions. With Mercury retrograding in Scorpio at the end of the month, miscommunications around finances are likely. Double-check contracts, financial documents, and transactions to ensure that everything is in order. This is not a time to make hasty financial decisions, especially when emotions are running high. Health is another area that requires attention this month, as Mars transits through Cancer in your third house of communication, ANS Sun aspecting first house from the seventh house Scorpio, influencing your overall vitality and energy. Emotional stress, particularly related to family or communication issues, could manifest as physical symptoms such as headaches, digestive problems, or fatigue. It's important to manage your stress levels by incorporating relaxation techniques like yoga, meditation, or regular exercise into your routine. Jupiter's retrograde in your first house may also impact your motivation to maintain physical fitness. You may feel less driven to stick to your regular health routines, but this is precisely when you need to prioritize your well-being. Maintaining a healthy diet, getting enough rest, and focusing on your mental health will help you navigate through this emotionally challenging month. Overall, November 2024 is a month of deep reflection, transformation, and strategic growth for Taurus individuals. By practicing patience, focusing on long-term strategies, and taking care of your emotional and physical health, you will emerge from this transformative period stronger and more prepared for the challenges ahead. For Gemini, November 2024 will be a month of introspection and careful planning, particularly in the areas of daily routines, work life, and health. With Mercury, your ruling planet, transiting Scorpio with Sun and moving through your sixth house of work, health, and daily routines, much of your focus will be drawn to these areas. The retrograde phase of Mercury starting on November 26th may bring delays, miscommunications, and the need for re-evaluation. This is a time to revisit how you manage your work responsibilities and health paying attention to stress levels and making necessary adjustments to your daily habits. The presence of the sun in your sixth house during the latter half of November further emphasizes health and work-related matters. 
you'll be prompted to evaluate how effectively you balance the demands of your career with your physical and mental well-being. This period is excellent for making improvements in your routines, adopting healthier habits, and setting clear priorities to manage stress more effectively. However, with Mercury's retrograde, progress may feel slow and miscommunications with colleagues could arise. Double-check your work, stay organized, and avoid making hasty decisions until after Mercury goes direct in December. Saturn and Jupiter, both retrograde for much of November, will influence your ninth house of higher education, long-distance travel, and beliefs, and your twelfth house of spirituality, expenses, and isolation. Saturn's retrograde in ninth house suggests that career progress, especially in areas connected to higher learning, travel, or philosophical pursuits, may feel restricted or delayed. You might question your long-term goals or feel uncertain about the direction of your professional life. This is the time to reflect on whether your current path aligns with your true ambitions. After Saturn turns direct on November 15th, you'll gain more clarity and forward momentum in these areas. Jupiter's retrograde in Taurus in your 12th house prompts a deep period of reflection. This transit emphasizes spirituality, isolation, and expenses. You may feel the need to retreat from social engagements or reassess your spiritual beliefs, taking stock of how much your career and personal goals align with your deeper values. Financially, Jupiter's retrograde can lead to increased expenses, particularly related to travel, education, or medical costs. However, this is not an ideal time for financial risks or large investments. Focus on reviewing your budget, cutting unnecessary expenditures, and planning for the future. Mars, debilitated in Cancer, your second house of finances and family values, adds tension around money and family matters. Mars' weakened position indicates that financial concerns, particularly those related to shared family resources or debts, could cause stress. There may be disagreements over how money is handled within the family, and impulsive decisions should be avoided. It's important to practice restraint and diplomacy when dealing with family finances during this time. The second half of the month may bring some relief and stability to your financial situation, but caution is still necessary. In terms of career, the early part of November may feel slow or frustrating, especially if you're expecting promotions or recognition. Jupiter's retrograde suggests that career progress, particularly in long-term projects or international opportunities, could be stalled. This period calls for careful strategic planning and focusing on improving your skills and work routines rather than expecting immediate results. Venus, the planet of love, transits through Scorpio, your sixth house of daily routines and work, until November 7th, which may place a practical emphasis on your relationships. You'll need to balance work responsibilities with your personal life, and there could be some strain in managing these dynamics. After Venus moves into Sagittarius, your seventh house of committed relationships, the focus shifts toward partnerships. This transit brings a more adventurous and optimistic energy to your love life. Committed Geminis will find this an excellent time for resolving any lingering issues and reigniting passion in their relationships. However, with Mercury retrograde at the end of the month, clear communication will be essential to avoid misunderstandings. For single Geminis, Venus transit through your seventh house could bring new romantic opportunities, particularly in social settings or through mutual connections. However, it's important to avoid rushing into anything too quickly, as Mercury's retrograde phase could lead to misunderstandings or confusion about your intentions. Take the time to get to know potential partners before making any commitments. Family dynamics may present challenges, especially with Mars debilitated in Cancer, your second house. There could be disagreements or misunderstandings related to finances or shared family responsibilities. Mars' weakened energy suggests that emotional responses may be heightened, and minor conflicts could escalate if not handled carefully. Practice patience and avoid making impulsive decisions in family matters. Saturn's retrograde in your ninth house also suggests that you may feel distanced from certain family members, particularly those who live far away. But after November 15th, when Saturn turns direct, there may be opportunities for reconnection and resolution. Health is another significant focus for Gemini individuals in November 2024. With Mercury, your ruling planet, transiting and retrograding through your sixth house of health and daily routines, you'll need to pay extra attention to your physical and mental well-being. Stress from work or family matters could impact your health, particularly in the form of digestive issues, fatigue, or minor illnesses. It's important to maintain a balanced lifestyle, incorporating regular exercise, a healthy diet, and stress management techniques such as meditation or yoga. Mars' debilitated position in cancer suggests that emotional stress could also manifest physically, particularly in the form of throat or digestive problems. Be mindful of how financial or family-related stress may be affecting your body, and prioritize rest and relaxation. Avoid overworking yourself or neglecting your health routines during this period. Overall, November 2024 will be a month of reflection, slow progress, 
and caution for Gemini individuals. By focusing on self-care and maintaining a balanced approach to work and relationships, you can navigate the challenges of this transformative month with resilience. For Cancer individuals, November 2024 is a month marked by emotional turbulence, personal reflection, and significant growth. This period may challenge your self-confidence and personal drive, but it also provides a chance to examine how you assert yourself and handle stress. With Mars debilitated in your first house, your energy levels might feel inconsistent, leading to feelings of frustration. You could find it difficult to stand up for yourself or tackle problems head-on, especially in personal relationships or at work. Be mindful of emotional outbursts or feelings of irritation that could arise from feeling overwhelmed. This is a time to cultivate patience and avoid making impulsive decisions. Instead, focus on self-care, taking time to reflect on your emotions, and finding healthier ways to assert your needs. However, the Sun in Mercury's transit through Scorpio offers a counterbalance to Mars' challenges. This planetary placement encourages you to tap into your creative side, whether through hobbies, artistic pursuits, or new romantic ventures. The fifth house governs joy and pleasure, so finding outlets that bring you happiness will be crucial for offsetting any emotional strain caused by Mars' transit. However, with Mercury turning retrograde in Scorpio on November 26, be prepared for potential miscommunications or delays in these areas. Creative projects may face setbacks, or you could find that misunderstandings with loved ones arise more easily. Double-check your work, and approach conversations with clarity and patience to avoid unnecessary complications. Venus, the planet of love and harmony, transitions from Scorpio to Sagittarius, your sixth house of work and health, on November 7th. This shift will bring more focus on balancing personal enjoyment with daily responsibilities. You may find that issues related to your health, wellness routines, or work-life balance come to the forefront in the second half of the month. Venus in your sixth house encourages you to find ways to enjoy the process of managing your day-to-day -day tasks, turning what might feel like mundane duties into opportunities for personal growth. Focusing on wellness routines, exercise, and a balanced diet will help you maintain your energy levels and emotional well-being, especially during this emotionally intense month. Professionally, November is a month of slow progress for cancer individuals. Mars' debilitated position in your first house can make you feel less assertive or driven in your career which may lead to frustrations or delays in achieving your goals. If you're working on important projects, you may find it harder to take the initiative or feel confident about your decisions. The Sun and Mercury's transit through your fifth house suggests that creativity can still play a big role in your professional life. This is a good time to approach work with innovation and think outside the box. However, with Mercury retrograde affecting your fifth house at the end of the month, be cautious about how you communicate with colleagues especially regarding creative ideas or speculative ventures. Saturn's retrograde through Aquarius, your eighth house, brings challenges in dealing with financial matters, especially those involving joint finances, debts, or inheritances. You may feel that progress is slow in resolving these issues or that you're carrying more responsibility than usual. If you're involved in business partnerships or shared financial ventures, expect delays or complications. However, once Saturn turns direct on November 15th, these matters should begin to clear and you can expect more stability and clarity in managing shared resources. Jupiter's retrograde in Taurus will likely cause delays in achieving goals related to group activities or collaborations. You might feel disconnected from your usual social circles or encounter obstacles in realizing financial gains from partnerships or group ventures. This retrograde period asks you to reassess your long-term goals and ensure they align with your values. Although you may feel some stagnation in your social life, use this time to evaluate which connections and goals truly serve your higher purpose. Financially, this month requires caution. Mars debilitated in your first house and Saturn retrograde in your eighth house suggests that this is not an ideal time for taking financial risks or making major investments. You may face unexpected expenses, particularly in relation to shared family resources or debts. Be conservative with your spending and avoid impulsive financial decisions until the planetary energies stabilize. After Saturn turns direct, you should see some relief in managing financial responsibilities especially those involving shared or joint resources. The Sun and Mercury's presence in your fifth house heightens your need for emotional connection and personal expression, making this a favorable time for deepening romantic bonds or exploring creative projects with your partner. For those in committed relationships, focus on open communication and finding joy in shared experiences. However, with Mercury going retrograde on November 26, be cautious of potential miscommunications or misunderstandings with your partner. It's important to practice patience, and avoid jumping to conclusions. Single cancer individuals may feel a surge in romantic opportunities during the first half of the month, 
but it's best to approach new relationships with caution, especially as Mercury retrograde can complicate matters toward the end of November. Take your time to get to know any potential partners before committing to anything long-term. Family life could be a source of tension this month, particularly with Mars' debilitated position making you more emotionally sensitive and irritable. Conflicts or misunderstandings with family members may arise, especially over financial matters or shared responsibilities. Practice patience and try to manage your emotions calmly to avoid unnecessary drama. Saturn's retrograde in your eighth house could also bring stress related to family resources or inheritance issues, but these matters should begin to clear up once Saturn turns direct mid-month. Finally, health is a key focus for cancer individuals in November 2024. You may experience minor health issues related to stress or emotional sensitivity. Be mindful of how emotional stress impacts your physical well-being and prioritize rest, relaxation, and self-care. Venus transit into your sixth house of health will also emphasize the importance of maintaining a balanced lifestyle and paying attention to your wellness routines. Overall, November 2024 is a month of emotional challenges and slow progress for cancer individuals, with opportunities for growth through introspection and personal reflection. With Mars debilitated in your first house, you'll need to navigate emotional turbulence carefully, focusing on self-care and balanced communication in all areas of life. Stay patient, avoid impulsive decisions, and practice mindful communication in your relationships to make the most of this transformative period. For Leo individuals, November 2024 presents a month of introspection, emotional transformation, and a strong focus on family, home life, and relationships. The month begins with the Sun, your ruling planet, in its debilitation sign of Libra, affecting your confidence and ability to assert yourself. However, when the Sun transitions into Scorpio on November 16th, the focus shifts to emotional matters, family responsibilities, and creating a sense of inner security. This period will be marked by challenges, but also opportunities for growth. One of the major influences this month is Saturn's retrograde in Aquarius, your seventh house of partnerships and long-term relationships, which lasts until November 15th. This retrograde phase can create a sense of stagnation or frustration in your close relationships particularly in marriage or committed partnerships. You may find it difficult to make progress in resolving ongoing issues, and communication with your partner may feel strained. However, this retrograde also offers an opportunity for reflection, allowing you to evaluate the foundations of your relationship and identify any areas that need improvement. As Saturn turns direct mid-month, there will be a noticeable shift in your relationships, bringing more clarity and a renewed sense of stability. Any tensions or delays that have been present in your partnerships will start to ease, making it a good time to work on rebuilding trust and understanding with your partner. For those in business partnerships, negotiations or collaborations that had been delayed may begin to move forward after Saturn's direct motion. Mars transit through Cancer, your 12th house of isolation, expenses, and spirituality, adds another layer of emotional intensity to the month. This placement can make you feel emotionally withdrawn or introspective, as Mars debilitated in this position can drain your energy and leave you feeling less motivated. You may experience a sense of detachment from your usual activities and find yourself seeking solitude to reflect on deeper spiritual or emotional matters. Financially, this transit can also bring unexpected expenses or challenges related to shared resources, so it's essential to exercise caution with your spending and avoid impulsive financial decisions. Jupiter's retrograde in Taurus, your 10th house of career and status, adds to the feeling of stagnation in your professional life. You may experience delays in career progress, promotions, or recognition for your efforts. Projects that you are expecting to move forward may be put on hold, or you may feel that your hard work is not being fully acknowledged. However, this retrograde phase is an excellent time for reassessing your long-term career goals and considering whether you are truly satisfied with your current path. Use this period to reflect on what changes you can make to achieve greater fulfillment and success in your professional life once Jupiter turns direct. In terms of finances, November 2024 is a time to be cautious. With Mars debilitated in your 12th house, there is a risk of overspending or unexpected expenses related to debts or shared financial responsibilities. Jupiter's retrograde in your 10th house may also affect your income, particularly if you are expecting bonuses, raises, or other financial rewards. It is not an ideal time for taking financial risks or making major investments. Instead, focus on reviewing your financial plans and ensuring that you are budgeting carefully. The second half of the month will bring some relief in managing financial issues related to partnerships or shared resources. In your love life, the energy of the month is a mix of challenges and opportunities for growth. With Saturn retrograding in your seventh house, relationships may feel strained, and there could be delays in moving forward with long-term commitments. 
However, this period also offers a chance to address unresolved issues in your relationships and strengthen your bond with your partner. After Saturn turns direct mid-month, there will be greater stability and progress in your relationships, allowing you to rebuild trust and work towards shared goals. For single Leo individuals, the transit of Venus into Sagittarius, your fifth house of romance and pleasure, on November 7th brings a more optimistic and adventurous energy to your love life. You may feel more open to exploring new romantic opportunities, particularly through social activities, creative projects, or travel. However, with Mercury turning retrograde in Scorpio at the end of the month, it's important to avoid rushing into new relationships or making impulsive commitments. Take the time to get to know potential partners and ensure that you are both on the same page before making any long-term decisions. Family matters will also be a significant focus for Leo individuals in November 2024. The Sun and Mercury's transit through Scorpio, your fourth house of home, family, and emotional security, brings attention to domestic responsibilities and your relationship with family members. You may feel a stronger need to connect with your family or work on improving your home environment. However, with Mercury retrograde in your fourth house starting on November 26th, there is a risk of miscommunications or delays in family-related plans. Be patient and avoid making major decisions regarding your home or family until Mercury goes direct in December. In terms of health, the presence of Mars in your 12th house of isolation and rest may leave you feeling physically drained or prone to stress-related illnesses. It is important to prioritize rest and self-care during this period, as pushing yourself too hard could lead to burnout. Take time to recharge your energy and focus on maintaining a balanced routine that supports both your physical and emotional well-being. Overall, November 2024 is a month of introspection, transformation, and careful planning for Leo individuals. By practicing self-care, open communication, and careful planning, you will navigate the challenges of this month and emerge stronger by the end of November. For Virgo, November 2024 is a period of reflection, transformation, and recalibration, as several key planetary movements invite you to reassess various aspects of your life. With Mercury, your ruling planet, playing a prominent role, the month will be marked by a deep need to re-examine communication, relationships, and decision-making processes. Retrogrades of Saturn and Jupiter urge a reassessment of your career, health, financial plans, and personal goals. November kicks off with Mercury already in Scorpio, positioned in your third house of communication, siblings, and short journeys. This placement emphasizes how you express your ideas and connect with those closest to you. However, as Mercury turns retrograde on November 26, there will be a significant shift in the way you handle communication. You might find that conversations, especially with siblings or neighbors, are prone to misunderstandings. Delays in short trips or issues with technology may also arise, so it's important to stay patient and avoid making hasty decisions. This retrograde encourages reflection on how you convey your thoughts and whether you're truly being heard. Since Mercury also governs your intellect and decision-making, this retrograde period is not the best time to initiate new projects or agreements. Instead, focus on reviewing and refining existing plans. By taking a step back and reassessing your communication style, you'll emerge from the retrograde period with a clearer, more thoughtful approach. Professionally, November 2024 brings a mix of challenges and opportunities for Virgo individuals. Saturn's retrograde through Aquarius, which governs your sixth house of health, work, and daily routines, may have been causing delays and obstacles in your workplace for the past few months. You may have experienced increased responsibilities, difficulties with co-workers, or a general feeling of stagnation. However, once Saturn turns direct on November 15th, you'll start to see gradual improvements in your work environment. With this shift, you'll regain focus, discipline, and the ability to tackle tasks efficiently. Jupiter, retrograding in your ninth house of higher learning, travel, and philosophy, may have led to delays in long-distance projects, travel plans, or further education pursuits. You may find that your professional growth has been slower than anticipated, especially if you've been aiming for certifications or academic advancement. Use this time to reconsider whether your current path aligns with your long-term goals. Are you following a career trajectory that truly fulfills you? Jupiter's retrograde urges you to reflect on the bigger picture and make adjustments that align with your values. November also calls for financial caution, especially with Jupiter retrograding in your ninth house, which governs areas such as higher education, long-distance ventures, and legal matters. This retrograde can cause delays in any investments related to education, travel, or international dealings. It's best to hold off on major financial commitments in these areas until Jupiter turns direct in early 2025. 
Mars, transiting through Cancer in your 11th house of gains and social networks, may also slow the flow of financial rewards from group projects or collaborative efforts. This is not the ideal time for making bold financial moves or taking unnecessary risks. Stick to your financial plan, avoid impulsive spending, and focus on long-term stability rather than short-term gains. Saturn's influence in your sixth house will encourage disciplined budgeting and careful financial planning. As Saturn turns direct mid-month, you'll have the opportunity to address any outstanding debts or financial responsibilities with greater clarity. Focus on long-term financial health by organizing your finances and planning for future security. In matters of love and relationships, November brings a blend of challenges and growth opportunities for Virgo individuals. Venus, the planet of love, starts the month in Scorpio, transiting your third house of communication. This encourages you to engage in open and honest discussions with your partner or loved ones. It's a good time to resolve any lingering issues through heartfelt conversations. However, after Venus moves into Sagittarius, your fourth house of home and emotional security, on November 7th, your attention shifts toward creating a more stable and harmonious family environment. For single Virgos, this Venus transit can bring romantic opportunities through family connections or domestic settings. You may be drawn to someone who shares your values and desires emotional security. However, with Mercury turning retrograde toward the end of the month, it's crucial to take your time before committing to any new relationship. Avoid rushing into romantic decisions, and use this time to build a strong foundation based on trust and mutual understanding. Family life takes focus for Virgo individuals in November 2024, especially with the Sun and Mercury's transits through Scorpio, activating your third house of communication and sibling relationships. You may feel a stronger bond with family members or a desire to improve your domestic environment. Whether through redecorating, spending quality time with loved ones, or addressing unresolved family issues, you'll feel motivated to create a more harmonious home life. However, Mercury's retrograde at the end of the month could bring challenges in communication with siblings or other close relatives. Misunderstandings or delays in family plans are possible, so be patient and avoid making major decisions regarding your home until Mercury goes direct in December. Health is another key focus in November 2024, as Saturn's retrograde in your sixth house of health and daily routines may have brought challenges related to stress or lingering health issues. Once Saturn turns direct on November 15th, you'll begin to see improvements in both your physical and mental well-being. This is an excellent time to establish healthy routines, including diet, exercise, and stress management strategies. Prioritize rest and self-care, and be mindful of how stress is affecting your body. Establishing healthy habits will support your overall well-being as you navigate this transformative month. Overall, November 2024 is a month of reflection, transformation, and recalibration for Virgo individuals. With retrograde influences from Mercury, Saturn, and Jupiter, it's a time to slow down, reassess, and focus on personal growth. Challenges in communication, career, finances, and relationships may arise, but by embracing patience, introspection, and discipline, you'll emerge from this month stronger and better prepared for the future. Prioritize self-care, clear communication, and long-term planning, and you'll successfully navigate the complexities of this transformative period. For Libra, November 2024 marks a period of transformation, introspection, and recalibration. This month, a delicate balance between reflection and forward momentum will shape various aspects of your life, from career and finances to love and relationships. As the month begins, the sun continues its transit through Libra, where it is debilitated. This placement can have a noticeable impact on your vitality and self-confidence. You may find yourself questioning your sense of self, doubting your capabilities, or feeling more vulnerable than usual. This introspective period encourages you to reassess your personal identity, values, and self-worth. However, relief arrives on November 16th when the sun moves into Scorpio, your second house of finances and self-esteem. This shift brings new energy and focus on stabilizing your financial situation and boosting your self-confidence. The latter half of the month will be an ideal time to align your efforts with more practical and grounded pursuits, such as financial planning and building self-assurance. Venus currently transiting Scorpio, your second house, influencing matters related to finances and values. This transit may encourage you to focus on family wealth, personal savings, and investment opportunities. During this period, you may feel a strong desire to improve your material security and resolve any lingering financial concerns. However, be mindful of impulsive decisions, as the influence of Mercury's upcoming retrograde may cloud your judgment. On November 7th, Venus moves into Sagittarius, your third house of communication and close relationships. This transit brings warmth and harmony into your interactions, encouraging more open and engaging communication with those around you. Your social life may pick up during this time, 
with opportunities to reconnect with friends, siblings, and neighbors. If you're involved in creative endeavors, this transit supports clear expression of ideas and may lead to collaborative projects. Nevertheless, with Mercury turning retrograde in Scorpio on November 26th, it's important to exercise caution in all forms of communication and avoid misunderstandings, particularly in financial dealings and with family members. Saturn continues to retrograde through Aquarius, your fifth house of creativity and personal projects, until November 15th. This transit may have caused delays or obstacles in your creative pursuits or entrepreneurial ventures. You might feel that your efforts are not yielding the desired results, leading to frustration. However, after Saturn turns direct mid-month, you will begin to notice a gradual easing of these challenges. Your hard work and perseverance will start to pay off, allowing you to make progress in your professional life. It's important to stay patient and continue working toward your goals, as the second half of the month promises a more productive and rewarding period. Mars, however, may present some difficulties in your career as it transits through Cancer, your 10th house of career and public life. Mars is debilitated in Cancer, which can sap your motivation and lead to emotional turbulence at work. You may experience frustration with authority figures or struggle to maintain control in leadership roles. It's essential to remain patient and avoid confrontations during this time. Mars energy can lead to impulsive actions or misunderstandings, which may harm your professional reputation. Instead, focus on long-term goals and avoid making any drastic career decisions until the energy stabilizes. Financially, November brings mixed results for Libra individuals. The early part of the month, when Venus is in Scorpio, provides opportunities for financial reflection and growth. You may receive gains from family resources, savings, or investments during this period. However, as Venus moves into Sagittarius, your focus will shift towards communication and networking, which could open doors for new income opportunities through writing, teaching, or other communicative pursuits. Despite these prospects, it's crucial to exercise caution when making financial decisions, particularly after Mercury turns retrograde in Scorpio on November 26th. Mercury's retrograde can lead to miscommunications, overlooked details, or financial missteps. Double-check all agreements and transactions, especially those involving shared resources, loans, or investments. Jupiter's retrograde in your eighth house of joint finances also suggests a need for prudence in handling shared wealth and business partnerships. While delays or re-evaluations may feel frustrating, they provide an opportunity to refine long-term financial strategies and ensure stability. In the area of love and relationships, November brings both reflection and growth. Venus transit through your second house of values emphasizes emotional and material security in your relationships during the first week of the month. If you're in a committed relationship, this is an ideal time to align your shared values and ensure that you and your partner are on the same page regarding financial and future goals. When Venus moves into Sagittarius, your focus shifts towards communication and intellectual bonding with your partner. Meaningful conversations and shared activities can strengthen your connection, making this a great time for deepening your relationship. Single Libras may find romantic opportunities through their immediate social circle or during short trips. However, with Mercury retrograding at the end of the month, it's important to be cautious in new relationships, as misunderstandings or mixed signals may arise. Take the time to build trust and understanding before making any long-term commitments. Family relationships will also play a significant role in November. Venus influence highlights harmonious communication with family members, particularly regarding financial matters. However, with Mercury retrograding in your second house of values, misunderstandings around money or material possessions may occur, so tread carefully in these conversations. Health-wise, November 2024 requires attention, particularly with Sun and Mars debilitated in your first and tenth houses. Emotional stress from professional or family responsibilities may take a toll on your physical and mental well-being. Prioritize self-care and establish healthy routines to manage stress effectively. Saturn's direct motion in your fifth house will help you regain discipline and structure, supporting your health and vitality. Overall, November 2024 is a month of introspection, recalibration, and gradual progress for Libra individuals. By embracing reflection, exercising patience, and focusing on long-term goals, you'll navigate the challenges of this transformative month and emerge with a stronger sense of balance and purpose. For Scorpio, November 2024 is set to be a transformative and intense month as several significant planetary influences converge in your sign. With the Sun, Mercury, and Venus transiting through Scorpio, and your ruling planet Mars debilitated in Cancer, you will face both emotional and practical challenges that could affect various aspects of your life, including personal growth, relationships, finances, and health. The presence of Saturn, Rahu, 
and Jupiter all aspecting Scorpio adds further intensity to these influences, making this a critical period for introspection, self-awareness, and adaptability. Mars, the ruler of Scorpio, transiting through its debilitation sign Cancer, brings emotional volatility and internal struggles to the surface. Mars' weakened energy in Cancer heightens sensitivity, and this could lead to emotional outbursts or feelings of frustration, especially in personal and professional matters. This period requires you to exercise caution, patience, and mindfulness, as your reactions could influence the outcomes of important situations. It's essential to focus on self-care and avoid making emotionally charged decisions, especially around November 26th when Mercury goes retrograde in your sign, potentially exacerbating communication issues. Saturn's aspect from Aquarius on your sign will further contribute to this sense of restriction and pressure, particularly in domestic matters. Whether it's family responsibilities or challenges at home, Saturn's influence may create a feeling of being burdened or restricted in your personal life. However, Jupiter's benefic aspect from Taurus provides a counterbalance, offering opportunities for growth through reflection on shared resources, investments, and personal transformation. This is a time for deep introspection, particularly in understanding how to manage your emotional triggers and approach relationships with more maturity. With 10th Lord Sun transiting through Libra, your motivation to pursue professional goals may be dampened. Its debilitated state suggests potential delays or frustrations in achieving your career aspirations. You may find it difficult to assert yourself or make bold decisions during this period, especially when dealing with authority figures or superiors. Mars and Cancer could also lead to conflicts in the workplace due to emotional mismanagement, so it's crucial to remain diplomatic and level-headed in professional settings. Saturn's retrograde in Aquarius, your fourth house of home, until November 15th may further slow down career progress, particularly in terms of promotions or advancements. After Saturn turns direct in mid-November, you may notice a gradual improvement, but patience will be necessary. As Saturn also aspects your 10th house of career, it encourages a more disciplined and steady approach to work, emphasizing long-term planning rather than immediate gains. Jupiter in Taurus highlights the importance of collaboration and teamwork in your professional life. If you are involved in business or work that requires partnerships, this is a good time to assess the strength of your collaborations. While delays or setbacks in partnerships are possible due to Jupiter's retrograde motion, this is a valuable opportunity to refine your long-term goals and establish stronger connections. In terms of finances, November calls for a cautious approach. With Mars debilitated in Cancer, your ability to take assertive financial decisions is hindered, making this a less favorable time for high-risk investments or significant financial commitments. Mars' transit through your ninth house could also bring unexpected expenses related to travel, education, or legal matters, so it's important to manage your resources wisely. The presence of Venus in Scorpio during the first week of November brings some positive influence, particularly in terms of attracting financial opportunities. Venus enhances your charm and magnetism, making it easier to secure financial gains, whether through bonuses, raises, or other small windfalls. However, after Venus moves into Sagittarius on November 7th, your focus will shift to budgeting and managing personal resources more carefully. Sagittarius is your second house of income and wealth, emphasizing practicality and stability in your financial planning. This period calls for careful review and refinement of existing financial agreements. Avoid taking on new debts or entering into significant financial commitments during this time, as Mercury's retrograde in Scorpio at the end of the month could lead to miscommunications or errors in financial dealings. In matters of love and relationships, November 2024 presents both opportunities and challenges for Scorpio individuals. This is an excellent time for strengthening emotional bonds with your partner or attracting new romantic interests if you're single. However, after Venus moves into Sagittarius on November 7th, your focus will shift towards stability and shared values and relationships, especially regarding financial matters. The Sun's entry into Scorpio on November 16th brings a renewed focus on self-awareness and personal transformation within your relationships. This period may push you to reflect on how you express your needs and desires, and how well you communicate with your partner. Mercury's retrograde in your sign starting on November 26th may bring challenges in communication, leading to misunderstandings or resurfacing of old issues. Patience and open dialogue will be key to navigating any conflicts that arise. For married Scorpios, Jupiter's retrograde in your seventh house may bring delays or setbacks in joint financial ventures or long-term planning with your spouse. This period encourages you to work through any unresolved issues related to shared resources and re-establish trust in your relationship. Family dynamics may also come under pressure in November 2024, particularly with Saturn's retrograde affecting your fourth house of home and domestic life. You may feel restricted by family responsibilities or face delays in resolving domestic issues. However, after Saturn turns direct on November 15th, 
some of these tensions may begin to ease. Health-wise, Mars debilitation in Cancer may lead to emotional stress, fatigue, or burnout, especially if you're dealing with overwork or unresolved emotional issues. It's crucial to prioritize self-care during this period, focusing on rest and relaxation. Engaging in activities that promote emotional balance, such as meditation or yoga, can help manage stress. Overall, November 2024 is a month of introspection, emotional growth, and caution for Scorpio individuals. The planetary alignments push you to face internal challenges, manage responsibilities, and approach your professional and personal life with patience and discipline. With key planets retrograding and influencing your sign, this period is an opportunity to reassess your goals, relationships, and personal growth while preparing for a more stable future. For Sagittarius, November 2024 will be a month of introspection and transformation with several key planetary influences shaping your experiences across career, relationships, and personal growth. Jupiter, your ruling planet, is retrograding in Taurus, impacting your sixth house of work and service. This indicates potential delays or setbacks in ongoing projects. You may feel as though your hard work isn't yielding immediate results, leading to frustration. This retrograde period is not ideal for launching new ventures or pursuing career advancement as the energy is more suited for reflection and reassessment. Instead of pushing forward, use this time to reevaluate your long-term goals and daily work habits. It's a good period to reassess whether your current job aligns with your values and overall career vision. Mars, transiting through Cancer and occupying your eighth house of transformation, joint finances, and shared resources, further complicates matters. Mars' debilitated state weakens its usual assertive energy, and in this sensitive eighth house, it can trigger workplace conflicts, power struggles, or unexpected changes in your professional environment. Be cautious when dealing with colleagues or superiors, as hidden tensions may come to the surface. Diplomacy and patience will be your best tools to navigate these disruptions. Avoid making impulsive decisions or reacting emotionally to workplace challenges, as these could escalate conflicts. On a brighter note, Venus enters your sign on November 7th, boosting your charm, creativity, and ability to collaborate. This will soften the intensity brought by Mars, allowing you to build positive relationships with coworkers or superiors. Networking and professional partnerships will flow more easily during this transit. Venus enhances your ability to draw people toward you, which can be useful in fostering team cohesion or seeking new opportunities. Nevertheless, with Mercury going retrograde in Scorpio, your 12th house, at the end of the month, hidden issues may arise in your professional life, urging you to reflect on unresolved matters that could affect your career trajectory. Finances require extra caution this month, particularly due to Jupiter's retrograde through your sixth house of debts and financial obligations. There may be delays in receiving payments or financial gains, or you may encounter unexpected expenses, particularly related to health or work. This is not an ideal time for taking on new financial risks or entering into agreements, as the retrograde energy tends to complicate matters. Focus on managing existing financial responsibilities and avoid accumulating unnecessary debt. Mars' transit through your eighth house also highlights potential issues related to shared resources, joint finances, taxes, or inheritances. Conflicts could arise over financial matters with partners or family members. Be especially careful when dealing with other people's money, as misunderstandings or financial strain may emerge during this period. It's best to delay any major investments or financial decisions until the planetary energies are more supportive. Fortunately, Venus transit into your sign will bring some positive financial opportunities, particularly through creative endeavors or relationships. You may find people offering their financial support, or you could attract valuable opportunities that enhance your sense of self-worth. However, it's important to avoid impulsive spending during this time. Venus can sometimes tempt indulgence, and with Mercury turning retrograde later in the month, it's essential to remain financially disciplined. In love and relationships, Sagittarius individuals will experience both positive developments and potential challenges. With Venus entering your sign on November 7th, you'll radiate charm, confidence, and attractiveness, making this an excellent time for romantic pursuits. If you're single, this transit enhances your magnetism, drawing new romantic interests your way. You'll feel more open to love and connection, and opportunities for new relationships may arise. For those already in a relationship, Venus' presence in Sagittarius will deepen the emotional bond with your partner, fostering romance and emotional intimacy. However, Mars' influence in your eighth house could stir emotional intensity and potential power struggles in close relationships. Unresolved issues or hidden tensions may surface, particularly in intimate partnerships. This could lead to emotional volatility, so it's important to approach sensitive matters with care and empathy. 
Communication is key in navigating any emotional challenges that arise. If old wounds come to the surface, use this time for healing and transformation, rather than allowing the past to cause conflicts. With Mercury turning retrograde in Scorpio, your 12th house, on November 26th, misunderstandings or miscommunications in relationships could arise toward the end of the month. It's important to be mindful of how you express your feelings, and to avoid jumping to conclusions without all the facts. Use this retrograde period to reflect on unresolved emotional issues and seek closure where necessary. Family life may feel a bit strained in November, particularly with Saturn retrograding through your third house of communication and siblings. This retrograde may cause delays in resolving family matters or miscommunications with siblings and relatives. After Saturn turns direct on November 15th, communication within the family will gradually improve, but patience is required in the first half of the month. Rahu's influence from Pisces, your fourth house of home and domestic life, could bring unexpected changes or disruptions in your home environment. You may feel restless or unsettled at home, but it's important to avoid making hasty decisions, especially with Mercury retrograde toward the end of the month. Health is an important area of focus this month, as Jupiter's retrograde in your sixth house could bring back old health issues or highlight the need to improve your daily routines. Stress from work or personal matters may take a toll on your physical and mental well-being. Be mindful of maintaining a balanced diet, regular exercise, and sufficient rest. Mars in your 8th house may also lead to fluctuating energy levels or emotional stress, so prioritize self-care and avoid pushing yourself too hard. Overall, November 2024 will be a month of growth, reflection, and cautious progress for Sagittarius individuals. While Venus transit offers charm and opportunities for connection, Jupiter's retrograde and Mars' debilitated energy present challenges in work, finances, and personal life. By focusing on introspection, clear communication, and self-care, you can navigate this month's complexities and emerge more resilient. For Capricorn individuals, November 2024 presents a transformative period marked by introspection, reassessment, and steady growth. With key planetary movements, such as Saturn retrograding in Aquarius, your second house of finances, family, and speech, and Jupiter retrograding in Taurus, your fifth house of creativity and speculation, several areas of your life will be impacted. Mars is debilitated in Cancer, your seventh house of partnerships, while Venus enters Sagittarius on November 7th, lighting up your twelfth house of isolation and foreign connections. This month demands patience and careful navigation, especially regarding your finances, relationships, and health. Your career may start slowly in November, as Saturn, your ruling planet, retrogrades in your second house of resources. This retrograde can delay recognition and financial rewards for your hard work. You might feel like you're putting in a lot of effort without seeing immediate results, which can be frustrating. However, this time is crucial for re-evaluating your long-term goals, work habits, and financial strategies. Rather than pushing for rapid career growth, focus on reviewing your plans and strengthening your foundations. After Saturn turns direct on November 15th, you'll experience a renewed sense of purpose in your career. You'll be better equipped to make progress and set long-term strategies in motion. However, with Mars debilitated in Cancer, your seventh house of partnerships, be cautious when dealing with business partners or colleagues. This energy could lead to misunderstandings or conflicts, especially if you act impulsively. It's essential to communicate clearly and avoid rushing into major decisions during the first half of the month. Venus transit into Sagittarius on November 7th, activating your 12th house, brings opportunities related to foreign clients or projects. This may open doors for professional growth through international collaborations, travel, or expanding your business beyond local boundaries. However, as Mercury turns retrograde in Scorpio, your 11th house of social networks, on November 26th, be mindful of potential miscommunications, particularly in group projects or when negotiating contracts. Delays or misunderstandings can surface, so ensure that all agreements are clear and double-check any important documentation. The financial landscape for Capricorn individuals is heavily influenced by Saturn's retrograde in your second house of money and material possessions. During the first half of November, financial growth may seem sluggish, with possible delays in receiving payments or financial rewards. This is not the time to make impulsive financial decisions or take risks. Instead, focus on saving and managing your resources wisely. It's a period that requires discipline and long-term planning. After November 15th, when Saturn turns direct, you'll experience more stability in your financial affairs. New opportunities to increase your income may present themselves, but it's important to remain cautious. Mars and Cancer suggests that joint financial ventures or agreements could lead to conflicts or misunderstandings. Be wary of entering into any new financial partnerships without thoroughly considering the potential risks. 
With Jupiter retrograding in your fifth house of speculation and creativity, this is not the best time for speculative investments. Avoid gambling with your resources and instead, focus on steady, reliable methods of growing your wealth. Mercury's retrograde in your 11th house at the end of the month could delay gains from social connections or group efforts. Be patient and avoid relying too heavily on promises of financial support from others. In your love life, November 2024 may bring some challenges due to Mars' debilitated transit through Cancer, your seventh house of partnerships. This placement can stir up conflicts and emotional volatility in both romantic and business relationships. If you're married or in a committed relationship, minor disagreements may escalate, especially if unresolved issues surface. It's essential to approach any conflicts with patience and understanding, rather than allowing emotions to run high. Venus entering Sagittarius on November 7th brings a more introspective energy to your love life, as it activates your 12th house of solitude and healing. This transit encourages you to reflect on your emotional needs and past relationship dynamics. It's a time for healing old wounds and understanding your deeper desires. If you're single, you may attract secret admirers or engage in private affairs, but these relationships might not be long-lasting. Take this time to focus on yourself rather than rushing into new romantic commitments. As Mercury retrogrades in your 11th house of friendships and social connections, misunderstandings could arise within your friend circle or romantic relationships. Be cautious of how you communicate and avoid making assumptions based on incomplete information. This period is ideal for reflecting on your relationships and reassessing what you truly want from your partnerships. Once Saturn turns direct on November 15th, communication within the family will improve allowing you to address any lingering issues and restore harmony. However, Rahu's influence in your third house of communication suggests that unexpected developments could occur in your interactions with siblings or neighbors. Approach these matters with caution and diplomacy to avoid turning small misunderstandings into larger conflicts. Capricorn individuals should pay attention to their health in November 2024, particularly with Saturn, your ruling planet, retrograding in your second house, which governs areas like the face, throat, and neck. You may need to take extra care with your diet and overall well-being, as throat-related issues or digestive problems could arise, particularly during the first half of the month. Mars' debilitated transit through Cancer, your seventh house, can lead to fluctuating energy levels and increased emotional stress. It's important to avoid overworking yourself or engaging in physically demanding activities that could drain your energy. Prioritize self-care, rest, and maintaining a balanced routine. Venus' transit into your twelfth house encourages you to focus on mental well-being, making this an excellent time for meditation, relaxation, and spiritual healing. As Mercury retrogrades at the end of the month, you may experience mental strain or stress related to unresolved issues. Be mindful of your mental health and avoid letting stress accumulate. Taking time for solitude and reflection can help you navigate this introspective period. Overall, November 2024 is a period of introspection and gradual growth for Capricorn individuals. While Saturn's retrograde in your second house of finances and family may slow progress in the first half of the month, the second half will bring more stability and clarity. Relationships, both personal and professional, may face challenges due to Mars' debilitated energy and the influence of retrograde planets. But by practicing patience and clear communication, you can overcome these obstacles. Focus on self-care, long-term planning, and emotional balance to navigate the complexities of this transformative month. For Aquarius, November 2024 is a month primarily influenced by your ruling planet, Saturn, retrograding in your first house of self and identity until November 15th. The retrograde motion of Saturn, along with other key planetary retrogrades like Jupiter and Mercury, brings a period of introspection, re-evaluation, and recalibration across various life areas. November brings both challenges and opportunities in your professional life. Saturn's retrograde in your first house can slow down progress, making you question your professional direction and feel like your efforts are not yielding immediate results. This phase demands patience and self-reflection as Saturn prompts you to reevaluate your long-term goals and career trajectory. You may find yourself reassessing whether you're on the right path, as this is a time for laying a solid foundation rather than seeking quick success. Once Saturn turns direct on November 15th, you'll feel a renewed sense of determination. The second half of the month is more favorable for making tangible progress in your career. However, Mars' debilitated position in Cancer, in your sixth house of work and health, may create some workplace frustrations. You could face conflicts with colleagues, difficulty managing daily tasks, or increased work-related stress. It's essential to stay calm and organized, avoiding impulsive actions that could lead to misunderstandings or setbacks. Sun and Mercury being in the tenth house can improve career prospects. 
However, Mercury retrograding in Scorpio from November 26th adds a layer of complexity to your professional life. This transit can bring communication breakdowns, delays in projects, or even misunderstandings with superiors. It's crucial to double-check all details and contracts or negotiations during this time to avoid costly mistakes. While challenges may arise, keeping a methodical and clear approach will help you overcome obstacles. In terms of finances, November requires careful management. With Saturn retrograding in your first house during the first half of the month, you may feel uncertain or even stagnant about your financial plans. This is not the best time to make impulsive decisions or take on risky investments. Instead, it's a good period for reviewing your financial goals and ensuring that you're building for long-term stability. Mars in your sixth house may also bring unexpected expenses related to health or daily work routines, so be cautious with your spending and focus on saving. Once Saturn turns direct on November 15th, you will feel more confident about managing your resources. However, Jupiter's retrograde in Taurus, your fourth house of home and family, suggests delays or complications in home-related matters, such as real estate deals, family investments, or renovations. If you are considering significant financial commitments, particularly related to property or home, it's better to wait until early 2025 when Jupiter turns direct. By the end of the month, Mercury's retrograde in your 10th house could bring delays in receiving payments, bonuses, or career-related financial rewards. It's important to remain patient and avoid hasty financial decisions, especially during the last week of November. Managing your existing resources prudently will be key to maintaining financial stability. November may be a challenging month for Aquarius individuals when it comes to relationships. With Mars debilitated in Cancer, your sixth house of conflicts and health, and other planetary retrogrades influencing your partnerships. Mars in the sixth house often stirs up conflicts and misunderstandings in day-to-day -day interactions, which could affect both romantic and professional relationships. If you're married or in a committed relationship, the first half of the month could feel tense, especially regarding shared responsibilities and routines. To navigate these challenges, it's essential to approach conflicts with patience and avoid reacting impulsively to minor issues. However, after Saturn turns direct on November 15th, relationship matters will become more manageable. The atmosphere will lighten, and you'll have more opportunities to resolve conflicts and strengthen your bonds. Clear and honest communication will be vital during this time. If you're single, Venus transit into Sagittarius on November 7th, which activates your 11th house of social networks, could bring opportunities to meet new people through friends or social gatherings. However, with Mercury retrograde at the end of the month, it's important not to rush into new relationships or make hasty commitments. Take your time to evaluate whether new connections align with your long-term goals. Family life may also face some challenges in November, particularly with Jupiter retrograding in your fourth house of home and family. There could be delays in resolving family issues or tension surrounding shared responsibilities or financial matters. The retrograde period is not ideal for making significant decisions related to home life, such as buying property or starting renovations. Instead, focus on building stronger communication with family members and practicing patience during disagreements. As Saturn turns direct in your first house after mid-month, you'll feel more grounded and capable of handling family matters. Health is another area that requires attention for Aquarius individuals in November 2024. Mars' debilitated position in Cancer, in your sixth house of health, can lead to fluctuating energy levels, stress, and minor health issues. You may experience symptoms related to digestion, inflammation, or even skin irritations. It's essential to prioritize self-care during this time, maintaining a balanced diet, and incorporating relaxation techniques like yoga or meditation to manage stress. Saturn retrograding in your first house could also make you feel more fatigued or sluggish, particularly in the first half of the month. Focus on maintaining a healthy daily routine, ensuring you get enough rest, and engaging in light physical activities. After Saturn turns direct mid-month, you'll notice a gradual improvement in your energy levels and overall well-being. However, it's important to continue monitoring your health, especially as work-related stress could still impact your mental and physical well-being. Overall, November 2024 is a month of introspection, reassessment, and gradual progress for Aquarius individuals. The retrograde motion of Saturn in your first house requires you to pause and reflect on your personal goals, relationships, and financial stability. Challenges in work, relationships, and family dynamics may arise. However, by staying patient, prioritizing self-care, and maintaining clear communication, you'll be able to navigate the complexities of this month and set the stage for future success. For Pisces, November 2024 promises to be a period of deep reflection and transformation. With Jupiter, your ruling planet, retrograding in Taurus, your third house of communication and close relations, a significant focus will be on re-evaluating how you connect with others, 
particularly siblings and neighbors. This retrograde invites you to reassess ongoing personal projects and the way you communicate your ideas. You may find that some of your previous efforts in these areas need refinement, and this period is an opportunity to recalibrate your approach for better results. However, with Mars debilitated in Cancer, your fifth house of creativity and love, your drive to initiate new romantic or creative pursuits may feel sluggish, leaving you frustrated with slower than expected progress. As you navigate the influence of these planetary retrogrades, patience will be key. Mars' weak position in your fifth house slows down your creative output and can stifle romantic connections. If you're in a committed relationship, misunderstandings or emotional volatility may arise. Mars' energy in Cancer tends to create heightened sensitivity, which can lead to unnecessary conflicts. Be mindful of how you react to small irritations with your partner, and try to approach problems with compassion and patience. For singles, it's not an ideal time to pursue new relationships. You may find yourself feeling emotionally unmotivated or cautious, which could make it hard to connect deeply with others. However, the second half of the month brings more relief. When Saturn turns direct in Aquarius, your 12th house of isolation and the subconscious, on November 15th, you will feel a gradual lightening of the emotional weight that's been pressing on you. Saturn's retrograde may have intensified feelings of isolation, anxiety, or subconscious fears, but its direct motion provides clarity and a renewed sense of stability. This period marks the beginning of emotional healing, allowing you to address old wounds, release subconscious baggage, and gain valuable spiritual insights. It's a powerful time for introspection and spiritual growth, enabling you to move forward with a clearer mind and a lighter heart. In terms of career, November 2024 is a month where steady and methodical progress will serve you best. Mars debilitated in your fifth house may leave you feeling uninspired or blocked creatively. This is particularly challenging if you work in a creative field or if you're involved in personal projects that require imagination and innovation. While your ideas may feel stifled, it's important to avoid forcing progress during this time. Instead, use this period to refine and perfect what you've already started. Thankfully, Venus transit into Sagittarius, your 10th house of career, on November 7th provides a welcome boost. Venus in this position enhances your professional reputation and can bring recognition or support from authority figures. This transit encourages collaboration and networking, making it an excellent time to lean on your professional contacts or seek out new opportunities through social interactions. While Mars' influence may slow creative progress, Venus transit helps balance this out by providing external validation and a sense of accomplishment in your work. Mercury and Sun in the ninth house may make you travel short and long trips. However, with Mercury retrograde starting November 26th, you'll want to be cautious about any career decisions involving travel, legal matters, or educational pursuits. Miscommunications or delays are likely, so it's best to double-check all paperwork and avoid signing major contracts toward the end of the month. On the financial front, Pisces individuals will need to practice cautious management of their resources. With Jupiter retrograding in your third house, this is not the time to take financial risks or make impulsive decisions. Instead, focus on reviewing your budget, reassessing your financial goals, and ensuring that your spending aligns with your long-term plans. Mars' debilitated position in Cancer, your fifth house, could bring unexpected expenses, especially related to children, hobbies, or creative endeavors. Be mindful of your spending in these areas as speculative investments or unnecessary splurges are unlikely to yield favorable results. The energy of this month favors conservatism in financial matters. In relationships, family dynamics could be another area of concern this month, particularly with Jupiter's retrograde in your third house. Misunderstandings with siblings or neighbors are possible, and delays in resolving long-standing issues may test your patience. It's important to approach these relationships with empathy and avoid jumping to conclusions. Miscommunications could escalate into unnecessary conflicts, so clear and thoughtful dialogue is essential. As Saturn moves direct on November 15th, you'll feel more equipped to handle any lingering family issues. The introspective work you've done during Saturn's retrograde will now pay off, helping you communicate more effectively with family members and resolve unresolved matters with clarity and understanding. Socially, Venus in your 10th house improves your standing within your professional circle and brings opportunities to expand your social network. Use this time to strengthen friendships and form connections with influential individuals who can offer you support and guidance. Health-wise, November 2024 will require vigilance, particularly with Mars debilitated in your 5th house. Emotional sensitivity and stress could impact your physical health, particularly in areas related to digestion and inflammation. It's important to take time for self-care, practice stress management techniques, and ensure you're not overexerting yourself. Mental health is another area to monitor, as Saturn's retrograde in your 12th house may have left you feeling drained or anxious. Now that Saturn is moving direct, 
you'll experience a gradual improvement in your mental clarity and emotional well-being. Take this time to rest, recharge, and focus on healing both emotionally and physically. Overall, November 2024 is a time for Pisces individuals to reflect, reassess, and patiently navigate the retrograde heavy energy of the month. While creative blocks, financial caution, and relationship challenges may slow progress, the energy shifts in the second half of the month will bring relief and provide opportunities for healing and growth. By staying grounded, managing stress, and focusing on long-term goals, you'll emerge from this month with greater clarity and a renewed sense of purpose. As we wrap up this transit episode, remember that these insights are based on sidereal or Vedic astrology which accounts for the approximately 24-degree difference with the tropical zodiac. If you'd like more personalized predictions for their specific zodiac sign or have any questions about their astrological chart, feel free to reach out to us. Stay tuned for more astrological updates. If they found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more astrology insights. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so they never miss an update. Thank they once again for joining us and we eagerly anticipate sharing more astrological wisdom with they in the future. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep shining bright.